Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and I am here with S. Oh, well, the Foundation's list of the things Dr. Bright is not allowed to do at the Foundation. This might be a one video, this might be a few videos. We will have to see what we have the time for. There are over 300 items on this list. <sighs> There are some notes that we have to take, take notice of. One of them being that no more additions are being allowed. This list is meant as a joke and does not, and it's not an actual depiction of how the character Doctor Bright acts. However, any and all pedo jokes are an accurate depiction of how Admin Bright acts. Who's Admin Bright? A real person. I'm not going to explain it further. There's just some uh, drama relating to them. You can talk to other people who know about uh, what's going on there a lot better than I do. Anyway. One, Dr. Bright is not allowed to feed anything with peanut butter to Kane. Kane being in the doctor that that is also a dog. 2. Telling the researchers that you can tame a 682 with a rolled up newspaper and a tummy rub is right out. That's a good way to die. 3. No longer allowed to challenge Abel to unwinnable games like tic-tac-toe. It was three weeks before Abel could see it to a draw. I guess that at the idea that Dr. Bright might have a slight dislike of Abel was a bit it forgotten about in this, this list. 4. SCP-18 is not to be taunted. 5. Given Ing-113 to Diogenes is just plain pointless. 6. Attempting to disprove 343, God, 2343 is a horrible idea. Agents are still studying the re resulting paperweight, supposedly so heavy that 343 should not be able to lift it. Basically, the um, classic question of can an all powerful being limit its own power by making an object so heavy that even that at, at all power being cannot lift it. 7. While it is true that no one expects the XCP Inquisition, that is only because there is no such thing. 8. Dr. Bright is not king or queen or any sort of monarch of anywhere. 9. SCP-963 is not to be used for recreational or procreational purposes. I don't even know what the heck that means. 10. Although it is entirely possible to use SCPs currently under control of the, of the Foundation's eight tentacle of monsters, no. Not even if Dr. Palmer asks nicely. <clears throat> 11. There is no market for SCP brand pornography. No, not even in Germany. Maybe in Japan, but still, no. 12. Should not replace a buckshot and a Dr. Clef's shotgun shells with any of the following. Birdseed, confetti, cake sprinkles, sawdust, or glitter. Really anything. Don't touch Dr. Clef's shotgun shells. <sighs> Thirteen. The Bear Business Bureau is not the correct agency for dealing with containment failures from horrible electric artifacts sold by Marshall Carter and Dark. Fourteen. Victims of SCP-217 are not toys, nor are they to be used as props at a steampunk convention. Fifteen. Doctor Bright is not allowed to bargain with personnel of their souls, not even if you think. Not even if he can get them a good deal. 16. 
Don't let a Dr. Bright get a sample of SCP-379. Let my laptop be the last victim. Oh hey, I'm on a laptop. And it's... And it's going out. I think it's on its last legs, anyway. 17. Not allowed to go off my medication. I'm quite sure in addition to this list, is he's not supposed to be allowed to add to this list or pretend he has medication to be on. 18. May not use any form of the word accident as an excuse. 19. Violate the dress code even on casual Fridays. No matter how many times you say, hey, please, Dr. Bright, we won't put any of the hats you've been asking about into the dress code. 20. If an SCP file says never to do something, it is not because we want to control your, your mind. Yes, it is. Strike a count. No, it's not, and Dr. Bright may not edit this document. 21. SCP-437 is not to be handed out as weaponry to unsuspecting new researchers. 22. Redacted on 05 request. Not even for recreational use. 23. Not allowed to send Nigerian-esque spam emails to the Church of the Broken God. 24. Not allowed to lead a mobile task force against the UIU under any circumstances without inviting Dr. Club at all. In fact, just say 500 feet away from any mobile task force at all times. I said that wrong. 25. Not allowed to end reports with lyrics from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. But is allowed to end lyrics with but is allowed to end with lyrics from the safety dance. The interpretive dance routine, however, is forbidden. That's all you guys that's for the foreseeable future. Twenty-six. Dr. Bright is not allowed anywhere near a red and festival. Especially not with D class in garb. Twenty-seven. SCP-963 is not a droid buzzer. Twenty-eight. If a mind controlling SCP is discovered, it is to be turned over to the proper authorities. It is not to be used to advance himself or other, or is higher in the foundation, Kondraki. That's been struck out as well. Weird. 29. Dr. Bright is not a superhero of any sort, head of public relations, in charge of orientation for new staff, a doctor of psychology, a member of Psycho Man, struck out because he is. Made out of bacon, in possession of IQ over 300, head of SCP review, or a member of maintenance staff. Sorry boys, Dr. Bright is a member of Site Command. It's usually best not to ask why. It's O5 Command you're thinking of. 30. There is no ethics committee. This is debatable. And even if there was, does anyone believe Dr. Bright would be on it? As anything other than a what not to do. 31. No longer allowed to make up Jody's for morning in calisthenics. Yes, this includes a Mickey Mouse Club song. I think it was something about Dr. Clef getting really mad about that. 32. Dr. Fred is not allowed to apply SCP 963. To any major political figures. Again. Yeah, he actually did run for... He actually um, changed the... He, um, no, he took over as... Um, what was it? Bush or something? I don't remember. 33. Dr. Bright is not from an alternative timeline. Dr. Bright cannot issue to... Preserve the timeline, or to corrupt the timeline, or to screw with those history nerds. 34. Dr. Wright is not allowed to challenge anyone to a duel and then give them SCP-572. Dr. Wright is... 35. Dr. Wright is not allowed anywhere near SCP-5555-J in any way or in any excuse. Remember what the miniature version did to Dr. L. 36. Dr. Clef and Dr. Bright are not allowed to interact 
act without the presence of a responsible administrator. Dr. Kondraki does not count as a responsible administrator, nor does Agent Anshunikov or Dr. Mann. In fact, let's just keep the two of them apart, period. <sighs> 37. Chainsaws are not the solution to every question, nor is more chainsaws or chainsaw cannons, except for that one time, and yes, it was awesome. 38. SP speed dating never happened. Anyone who claims to remember such an event should refer to site command for administration of Class I Net Isiac. 39. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use any SCP to alter or affect the outcomes of any reality based television shows, including but not limited to Survivor, Big Brother, Hell's Kitchen, American Idol, or any dating show on VH1. Not even if Dr. I Dr. Wright asks night nicely. No, it doesn't it matter they are both consenting adults, no matter how much either of them argue otherwise. Dr. Wright is not allowed to spank the monkey, nor is she allowed to shock the monkey, or anything else relating to the monkey. For reference, Wright is a monkey. So, take with that what you will. I won't go any further. Number 40. SCP-82 is not to be given song requests, especially not like a version. 41. Accidentally spilling green gelatin on a dead body in the presence of the O5 was funny exactly once. And the smell of excrement exuding from O5-2 to khakis spoiled the moment. 42. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to utter the phrase more than 1,000 babies in the presence of any SCP personnel. I kind of sat behind this rule. What, what the heck? 43. Nothing in the Foundation is rated over 9,000. 44. Stop posting classified information on 4chan. Unless it's, unless it's a memetic a kill agent. You know why. And only in, in Q on, on, on threads, okay? 45. No using SCP-705 for personal gain. Or to play monitoring equipment. I absolutely no giving tons of extra Play-Doh just to see what they can make. That mecha was dang annoying. 46. If it, uh, if it involves, involves doing something wrong, it isn't right. 47. If it involves something right, you did it wrong. 48. If Dr. Brett has to ask... It's above his clearance level. If it's above Bright's security clearance, run. 49. Dr. Bright is not allowed to declare war on any country, thing, or person. 50. Foundation credit cards or expense accounts are not to be used to purchase its pornography. Not even anomalous pornography. Ow, my throat. Anyway. <clears throat> 51. Dr. Freight is not a marital aid. I don't know what that is. Don't answer that question. I don't want to know. And cannot refer to himself as such, especially on official documents. 52. Dr. Freight is not the Lord of Rodley Might, and is hereby banned from playing Dungeons and Dragons and making use of SCPs to simulate the real danger. 53. Dr. Freight is not allowed to... Go to fan and conventions, let alone use them as recruitment drives. Especially not at furry conventions. I don't know why we're specifically targeting furries here, but I agree, do not go to fan conventions and try and recruit them for a position in a place where they are likely to ooh, have to deal with deadly anomalies. 54. When writing a report, more detail is expected than object class Keter, special containment procedures, data expunge, description, data expunge. And inventing new security clearances just so nobody can see what you've written is also considered poor form. This actually goes against a lot of the um, way that the SCP Foundation likes to say they have quality work. 
aside from 173, but 173 is the original, so it, I think it's still quality, despite it being a little bit dated. 55. Showing Monty Python episodes to SCP-239 was not a wise decision. Please, never try this with any other reality warping SCP. I just want to imagine and uh, and and freaking somebody tried to cut off someone's arm and they were like, this is but a, a flesh wound or something like that. 56. For the Emperor is not an acceptable or justification for any ju decision. 57. My evil twin did it is no longer considered a viable excuse, nor is my good twin and did it concerning the op implications. And also considering the fact that, right, for the most part, doesn't even know if he has a twin. And whatever body he might be in. 58. Yes, form trolls are annoying. No, they don't automatically become D class personnel. 59. Dr. Wright is not allowed to send emails else with the romantic castles attached. Not even when replying to spam. 60. Also, you should never reply to spam, by the way. Never do that. That's a horrible idea. All right, 60. The ultimate showdown out of Ultimate Destiny is not grounds to pit more than 15 combative SCPs, including SCP-682 and ABLE, against each other. Weeding out some of these angsty teens with attitude problems, however, is. Dr. Wright is not allowed to administer free hugs. <sighs> 61. Not allowed to kick SCP-250-558-1. No, th J. Not allowed to play a dodgeball with this SCP. Not allowed to play any type of ball game. With SCP-2558-SJ. Uh, oh yeah, for reference, I think this one is... Oh, whoops. Oh well. Yeah, it's just a ball of kittens. It's literally a ball of kittens. Hang on. It did the thing again. We're here for the list, for a reason. <sighs> 62. Any proposal which includes the phrase metric frick load is straight out denied. 63. Instance of SCP 255 8. SJAX are not to be spooked while being held by members of O5. No instances of SCP 2558J should be anywhere near an O5, let alone an SCP 2558JAX. 64. The foundation motto is secure. Contain, protect, not any of the following. Stab, carry on, Harold, or fully. Let's use it on 682. Throw the cheese! That's it, you're on a cat or duty. Can we put it in 914? Blood makes the grass grow. Kill, kill, kill. Frick trees, I claim. I'm clouds, mother fricker. So, I'm gonna skink. Uh, but some days it should be. Whose hand is that? If all else fails, poop on it. If all else fails, else there's always the sun. We need bigger kittens. Society of creepy perverts. Frick, death, war, famine, and pestilence. We got Clef, Gears, Kondraki, and Bright. Throw D-class at it until it stops. 447 and dead bodies. Two great tastes that taste great together. The FBI are a bunch of pansies. 
Who wants to see what I can do? Make the present do in public. For the horde, science for the science god. Make sure to wipe your feet on two. On to five fifty eight. When in doubt, P two six eighty two. Set up uh, say clowns and puns. Drop the blanket now. Seduction quite uh, and a pregnancy. Okay. We always need more DACA. I don't know what DACA is. Still alive and found the cake. Don't worry. Oh, if I, I won't ever figure it out. Bullet blend. Commies love us. Snap, crackle, and pop. Okay, that last one was pretty cute. Sixty-five. Doctor Bright is no longer allowed to play Hippocratic Oath Chicken with the medical staff. Sixty-six. A full minute of stunned silence means, my goodness, what did you do? Not please continue. Sixty-seven. Pranks placed into into the new Usopp's desks are not funny because they liquefied in record or time. Sixty-eight. Attempts to use Foundation radio telescopes to contact omniscient and omnipotent extraterrestrial entities will result in a bill oh, for any damage to local space-time, including the cost of the modic objects to dwarf planet and status. I imagine that's somewhere in the I in millions or trillions. I'm quite sure it's expensive enough that even and 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 the uh, people like Elon Musk could not afford it. 69. Uh, despite his doctoral degree, Dr. Bright is not allowed to prescribe or administer any of the following. Enemas, homeopathic remedies, any sort of, of medication, free hugs, the healing power of laughter, more cowbell. I don't get that last one. The rest, absolutely not. I literally don't get the last one, though. 70. Dr. Bright is no longer are allowed to offer the solution of a, use more guns to any problem or get bigger guns. It won't solve a lot of the problems that we have. 71. Despite what he may say in any evidence, no matter how plausible, the SCP Foundation has never and will never be associated with Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Honestly, good on them. Regardless of what Dr. Bright may say, he was he is not, and I quote, a real life wizarding tutor. Given that Bright switches his body between in, in male, female, or whatever is in between, and even a monkey, I think that he should probably give up on any a relate on anything that is related to J.K. Rowling. Nor is he a vampire. That was a body glitter and bad acting. And despite what the computer from Otto may say, he is not Madib. The spice can flow just fine without him. 72. The Tamlin House of School The Tamlin House School of Witchcraft Surgery is just a bad is just a plain and bad idea. And honestly, please stop trying to copy Harry Potter. It was it was made by a transpho. You can enjoy it without uh, other stuff, but new stuff should probably be avoided. Especially if she's getting royalties off it. Anyway, 73. If Dr. Bright has ever been found under the influence of any recreational substance, he must immediately be contained under level 15 containment. If you want to know why, please refer to the security camps for an unknown date between the unknown hours. If Dr. Bright is found deliberately gang high to get out of work, he's to be placed uh, in a Type 4 cell and hosed down with cold water with a pressurized hose for no less than 5 minutes. Maybe this will teach you that drugs are bad, okay? That was an obvious South Park joke, you know it. Seventy-four! Cthulhu and, and Rilla are not... I uh, can't say it right, but who can? They're not English words. Are not valid reasons to send Pandora's box out into the Pacific Ocean in order to capture them. Furthermore, these are not even SCPs. 
and I will find the person who decides Enter the Abbey is for them. 75. Dr. Fright is not allowed to upload visual mimetic a kill agents to 4chan, 7chan, any image board. Well, okay, maybe to 4chan. It'd be doing the gene pool service. Especially if it's, it's Bitsy previously mentioned uh, the QAnon on 4chan threads. Could be doing the entire world of service. Anyway, 76. Dr. Wright cannot change the standard issue of D class uniform to black pants with a red polo or shirt. I see reasoning, and I, and, but we just don't want to be associated with Star Trek. And I think that is SCP Foundation for that because uh, I kind of didn't like Star Trek. I never watched it, but it's just one of those things like Star Wars that I just never got into because everyone made it such an annoyingly big deal out of it. 77. No matter how many times we may claim it, no matter how many uniforms we may confiscate, Dr. Bright is not a ninja, nor has he ever been. No, not even if he uses SCP-281 to do it. 78. There are no security codes for a zombie con uncle line. Badass, bad butt hat, vampire can can, disco corpse, intense homoeroticism, extreme crotch violence, man disguised as a palm tree, man with porn stash, kung fu rasa, puppy eating monks, justifiable homicide of all you dumb butt mother humpers, right family. A reunion. Code Brown. Find a place to hide and make sure you leave an offering of booze outside your door. Dr. Kondraki Beach Party. 79. Just because Bright is a doctor does not mean he is THE doctor, no matter how many British men he possesses. No, SCP-963 is not proof against this. Nor is any structure that results oats from placing in SCP-184 inside of a police call box. <sighs> Adopting female members of the staff and calling them companions is right out. SCP-297 is not a sonic screwdriver. And I'm skipping that joke because it makes me physically cringe. 80. While humor can be an effective way to improve staff morale, it is highly inappropriate to make your mum jokes in the vicinity of SCP-597. I don't know why, I might look into it for the next video. 81. Dr. Bright may not classify any research, which including himself, as a medic hazard. 82. Dr. Fright is no longer to accept or use the following as payment for bets. Your soul, any, anyone else's soul, virgin's blood, reproductive organs, SCPs, memories, real or imagined, pieces of your past. I have no idea how that works with Clef, but apparently he can do it. The island of Manhattan, beads, firstborn children, secondborn children, redheaded stepchildren, Rented mules, gold spun from straw, a child's laughter, a child's tears, ponies, anyone's grandmother, anyone's grandfather, anyone's sister, any blood relative. Please, don't make bets on things like that. That's so weird. 83. No matter how many times he photoshops himself into a picture of SCP-682, and no matter how many Australians he possesses, Bright is not and never was the Crocodile Hunter. Nor does every SCP slash D class really hate it when you jam your thumb up their bum. And he is not allowed to do that right now. <sighs> Rest in peace, the person that I don't know they're referencing. Eighty-four. 
As funny as Instant 387682 Blank was, Dr. Fright is not allowed unsupervised access to SCP-387. Researchers are still trying to figure out how an Edward model of, of, of 6A2 was so invulnerable despite being only made of just plastic blocks. 85. Dr. Fright is not allowed to tell a new researcher his experiment ending on SCP-168 to divide by zero. We'll find the square root of negative one or find the last digit of pi using the SCP. Dr. Blank is still caught and 168 is quite displeased with the event. 86. Dr. Fright is not allowed to use examples from Star Trek when administering Turing tests to artificial intelligence. This is of any sort. Computer hardware does not grow on trees, dang it! 87. Dr. Fright is not allowed to plant SCP-2383-J into science labs. We're still picking up complaints from the office of Stephen Hawking. Isn't he also gone? No, not even for the good of science. Or even as science for or the science god. Dr. Wright is not allowed to refer to himself as such either. Dr. Wright is not allowed to use SCP-587 to reenact locker or scene from Men in Black, nor play Godzilla with its inhabitants. Nor is he allowed to set himself up as a god to them. Testing between... in SCP-786 and SCP-587 is also banned. David and Goodlight scenarios are just as harmful to its inhabitants as the Godzilla incidents. Dr. Wright is not allowed to use SCP-786 to simulate the Dwarf Fortress. 89. <sighs> Dr. Wright is not allowed to show SCP-682 any of the following in any U Ubo movies, The Room, Troll 2, Manos the Hand of Fate, movies considered so bad they're good, Movies considered cult classics. You know what? Dr. Fright is just not allowed to show SCP-682 any movies at all, ever. I have no idea how Dr. Fright survives half the situations. Anyway. Ninety. Dr. Fright is not allowed to claim SCP a 14J has breached containment and then leave a dining fork in the hallway. I think 14J is a dining, is an anomalous dining fork of some sort. 91. Dr. Fright is not O5 blank J. No such position exists at the time. 92. Dr. Fright is not allowed to give SCP-239 a copy of any Harry Potter books. What did you do? 93. Dr. Wright is not allowed to use SCP-141 to give people parking tickets. 94. Dr. Wright is not allowed to send anything into the past, future, or to alternate dimensions. 95. Dr. Wright is not allowed to accuse people of being duplicates of himself with the intention of having them terminated. Unless they actually are duplicates of himself. Dr. Clef is not allowed to convince people Dr. Bright is a copy of him. 96. Dr. Bright may not put a cup of orgasm from SCP-294 through SCP-914 on a very fine setting. Given the results of requesting a cup of Dear God No... Dr. Fright is no longer allowed to use SCP-294 directly or outside of approved testing. <sighs> Given that he has another staff member to request a cup of Explodium from SCP-294 to see what would happen, Dr. Fright is not allowed to ask other staff members to ask 
access SCP is for him, no matter how instructive, funding, or helpful the results would be. The only exception to this is SCP-963. 97. Dr. Bright is not allowed to make, accept, or take a rake off on bets concerning SK class end of the world scenarios. Since I'm not Dr. Bright, right? I might I I I'd make some bets concerning SK class end of the world scenarios. What do you say? Want to bet? Ninety-eight. Doctor Bright is no longer allowed to access SCP-732 infected documents along with SCP-239. MTF of Lambda Two has been dismissed as to contain chowder cleft. I don't even know what that means. Ninety-nine. Dr. Wright is not allowed to organize, authorize, or create any form a Foundation Demolition Derby. Sorry, in SCPs is 2383J, 708666J, 2558J, 1543J, 2041J, 2103J, 968, 462, 115, and 225 for the grand finale. No, just no. Not even if you try to throw ON 682 trying to disguise that as a termination attempt. 100. Dr. Wright is not allowed to get on the PA system at Site 19 and announce that he just won the game. Strike that. You know what? Dr. Wright is just never allowed to allowed on the PA system for any reason, ever. Hmm. We've gone through a hundred so far. I've got about an hour before I have to get going, but I there's other stuff I need to do, so... I think this is where we're going to end today's video. A hundred of video doesn't seem like, like that bad of a deal, does it? Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, well, and leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like this video, please leave a comment about how much you didn't like it, and about, about what I did wrong, and what I could do to improve. Oh no, I have no idea why you would watch a video for or about 40 minutes that you did not like. I still understand that there is a lot that I need to improve on. I'll see you next time for even more of this hilarious hijinks.